Hi, my name is Grant Johnson, and for as long as I can remember, I've been making movies and telling stories. Growing up, I was always a voracious reader. Um, when the lights went out, I would be reading under the covers with a flashlight. And I think with that early love of reading came a love of writing. In about fourth or fifth grade, my parents got me a, a little video camera for Christmas. And um, from then until my senior year of high school, I probably made close to a hundred short films. You know, early on we dabbled in some comedies, some horror movies, but the majority of them were action thriller type movies. We had a YouTube channel, but you know, these videos weren't racking up views. Um, we were really just making them for, them for ourselves because we loved to do it. As we got older though, the quality of the films definitely improved, the acting improved, and the complexity of the storytelling definitely went up as well. In high school, my friends and I participated in a series of film festivals. We actually got three of our films shown at a local theater. Uh, there's something really satisfying about seeing your work up on a big screen like that, seeing people react to it. My junior year of high school, I actually wrote, directed, and edited a 52-minute thriller. I made a trailer for it and everything. The film followed a series of detectives as they pursued a serial killer, um, only to find that the head detective in charge of the case who had an overzealous passion for justice, was actually the serial killer all along. Um, I come from a really large Greek family, so I've always, you know, had a very strong bond there. Every year with my cousins, we make a meal for our aunts and uncles. We made a series of um, comedic movies about our process of making the meal. In college, that only, that passion for filmmaking only continued. I was a film and television major. I took a ton of classes in film. I was constantly writing and um, watching movies and watching television shows. I wrote a spec script for the CBS show Blue Bloods. I also wrote a 110 page feature length screenplay that I worked on for the better part of a year and a half. And I still consider it to be a work in progress, but I am proud of it as well. In college, I also participated in our annual Campus Movie Fest Film Festival. And we were lucky enough to have um, each of our three films make the top 16 finalists each year we did it. And the first film was a, com a very dark comedy about two friends trying to uh, murder a roommate uh, in order to get a perfect 4.0 grade point average. Yeah, you know, if your roommate dies, you get a 4.0 for the semester. So if Glenn died, you guys would both be set. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's crazy. Um, the next film was a much more somber story about a man coping with the death of his mother. And the final story was a, um, a dark thriller that actually we were lucky enough to win the award for best story that year. Don't do it, man. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, don't, don't. Oh, shit, dude, let's get out of here, man. Each of those films I wrote, directed, and edited, and acted in as well. I've always been drawn towards writing um, darker material. I think it's because often the darker corners of the human experience are the hardest corners of, of our lives to understand. And for that reason, they're worth exploring. You know, my whole life when I've been you know, taking the bus to school or tossing and turning in bed, I'm thinking of movie ideas. I'm thinking of television show ideas. I'm pouring over ideas in my head. It's something that I don't think I could escape even if I wanted to. As I've gotten older, I've made a ton of strides as a storyteller and as a writer, but I know that, you know, I'm still growing and I have so much more growing to do. And that's why a program like this so appeals to me. It's a chance to be in an environment with people that feel the same way about writing that I do, that, that don't see it as a hobby, but see it as a calling. And for me, that's what it really is. I want to be in an environment with experts that can help me, that can take me to the next level as a writer. So I truly feel that if I weren't to follow this dream, I'd be doing a disservice to myself. Thank you so much for your time, and um, I really appreciate your consideration. Thank you.